Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I just had the weirdest thing happen um, right before I hit the record button. My candle was flickering like crazy and um, it's almost like there's um, there might be a spirit surrounding this reading right now. So anyways, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. I am doing a pick a card well, a pick a deck reading today. I'm going to do some live shuffling on camera. And the title of this reading is, How Does Your Person Feel About You? So we are going to tap into whoever you are thinking of. And these are general, so they may not resonate with everyone. Um, if they don't, take what does and toss out the rest. So we have three piles in front of you. Pile number one is the beautiful turquoise crystal. Pile two is the amethyst crystal. Pile three is the green adventuring crystal. This is also the modern witch tarot, the vision quest tarot, and the crystal visions tarot, I believe. And I'm also going to pull a bunch of other cards. And if you guys aren't interested in watching me shuffle, I will leave the timestamps below. Pick whichever one you are intuitively drawn to, and I will see you guys at your pile. Hi, pile number one. If you pick the turquoise, this is going to be your reading on how your person feels about you. So I'm going to do some live shuffling. If you guys don't care to watch me shuffle, you can skip to the timestamp below. All right. So, pal number one person, how do they feel about them? Person that is watching, three cards, three spirits, how do they feel about them? Pal number one person, one more card. Beautiful. All right, so first out we had, I think it was this one, the beautiful lovers coming out, starting strong for you guys. So, this is soulmate connection. It can also mean twin flame if you guys are um, relate to that the chariot is coming out for you as well and the queen of cups here so pile number one immediately what i'm getting your person sees you as your as their soulmate um, someone that they are divinely connected to someone that they've shared past lives with um, you know the lovers card is a very I mean, you can just see it on, you know, the imagery here. It's a very loving card. It's a card of never wanting to let go. And no matter if you guys are together or in separation, your person is always feeling your energy, no matter their circumstances is what I'm getting. And actually for this pile, I do feel, well, actually you guys might be together or some of you might be separated at the time. But, you know, take it however apply, how it applies to you. But with the chariot card coming out, I do see that, you know, your person either wants to move this connection forward. It can mean like proposals, getting married, or, you know, your person really wants to come back if you guys are in separation. So I'm seeing both scenarios here. With the Queen of Cups coming out, you know, this is really similar to the Empress energy, very loving, stable, someone who knows how to communicate, someone who knows their worth and isn't afraid to show the world who they are. And your person sees that, whoever you're thinking of, they know that you are this beautiful queen and that you have a lot to offer. You know, you are whole within yourself um, and therefore, you know, they want to be whole with you you know so let's go ahead and so that's really beautiful so far pal number one um i do see that there is a really strong loving connection here a very undeniable connection that your person feels for you and it goes really deep it goes past this life and it goes past um you know many lives before so let's go ahead and get another card how does pal number one's person feel about them? One card, please. Okay, all right. So look at this, pal number one. We have grief coming out. 
So for many of you, if you chose this pile, you guys are not in contact. This is just the confirmation here. And it says, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Okay, so loud and clear what I'm getting. Your person did not appreciate you when you guys were together, which is why there is this disconnect. There is um, the separation at this current moment. And, you know, what they they want you to know is that they understand it you know they understand it now they see things now they see your worth which is why we have this chariot card the chariot is a very fast moving energy you know if you see this card we have um someone charging forward with two different horses and you know this is also a card of marriage too so we have two you know really strong um major arcanas here that are indicating some type of union um, so, and look at that, I split the deck and we have retreat. So let's go ahead and pull more cards for your person. You know, I was planning to pull all these out at once and that didn't happen. So <laughs> I, I guess whoever is just going to skip the shuffling is just going to skip it to the tarot card. So I'm sorry about that. All right, pile number one. Let's go ahead and get more. So how does their person feel about them? One card, three spirit. Oh my gosh. Look at this, you guys. What did I say? They want to move things forward and I feel it. I felt it in the beginning and now we have the engagement card. That is beautiful. It says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for you. I strongly feel that your person is wanting to charge forth in this connection. They do not want to be in separation and they want to um, really solidify the connection between the two of you. So that is very exciting, pile number one. Let's go ahead and pull another card here for you. So Pound number one's person, how do they feel about the person watching? There we go. Look at that. You might not know now, but you will, pile number one. Oh, gosh, this is so exciting. So for some of you, um, actually for all of you, no matter what the circumstance is, um, can you guys see that? your person is going to make this known to you. Okay. So uh, there is something like a news, there is news or a message coming for you really soon where you're going to finally see, you know, how this person truly feels about you and what they want in this connection. And for a lot of you, I'm seeing that they know, they understand, you know, what you were telling them this whole time that you guys were together. I feel like if you chose this pile, it's almost like you kept saying, like, you're going to miss me when I'm gone. You know, I, I just hear it like, you're going to miss me when I'm gone. You don't know what you have until it's gone. And they do, pile number one. They are missing you, and they see that now. And I'm just really seeing strongly that, you know, there is something very magical happening here between the two of you. So let's go ahead and pull... Um, let's get some messages from your person here. So, number one person. Let's go ahead and see what your person would say to you. So, pound number one. What would pound number one's person say to the person that is watching? Hey, look at that. It says, you were my sanctuary. You were the only person I could confide in, and I betrayed your trust. Wow. That is powerful, pile number one. So for a lot of you, they do know, they know, pile number one, that they hurt you and that they betrayed you, which is why there is a separation. For those of you, if you are still together, I feel that there was a pretty significant fight or argument that the two of you had which, you know, has caused this person to feel this deep regret, this grief for, um, 
you know, causing this type of discord. So let's go ahead and get one more message from your person. Oops, you got two. I knew you were right, but couldn't admit it to myself or you. Yes, your person knows that you were right. Okay, so if for some of you, um, if you guys are in a connection, your person knows and understands that what you were saying this whole time was true. Um, same applies if you're in separation. And you also have, I should have believed in you. You always had my best interest at heart. Look at that. Pile number one. Those are very powerful, powerful words this person wants to speak to you. So let's go ahead and let's get some advice for you guys as far as this connection. So I've been really into this goddess deck that I got and it's just so feminine. Um, I just love it. It's so beautiful. So let's go ahead and ask spirit. What does pile number one's person need to know at this current moment? Okay, beautiful. We have Bridget coming out for you, the goddess Bridget. And it says inner peace at the bottom there. Yes, so there is, I'm seeing a lot of green too. So there's um, something coming for you that is going to bring you a lot of healing. It's going to heal your heart, your heart chakra, I feel. And it's going to bring you a lot of balance. There's going to be a very peaceful um, resolution to all of this. And as you guys know, we're in eclipse season coming up. There's going to be this, you know, major eclipses happening over the summer. And those major shifts in the universe, they bring back energies from the past, you know, people that did you wrong, like that's good karma coming in. So there's something coming for you, um, pile number one here, and I think it's going to be a blessing in disguise for you. So that was your reading. I really hope it resonated. Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you beautiful in this next time. Take care. Hi, pal number two, if you chose the amethyst, this is going to be your reading. So I mentioned that I was going to put, you know, if you didn't want to see me shuffle, I was going to put the timestamps below, but I ended up shuffling through um, the whole reading for pal number one. So um, I'm sorry, you guys are just going to have to watch me pull the cards out as I go. So let's go ahead and jump into your reading. How does pal number two's person feel about them? And if you guys are new here, don't forget to click that subscribe button to my channel. All right, pal number two, how does their person feel? Let's get two more cards, Spirit. One more card, how does their person, ooh, that is too many. Let's just get one more. How does their person feel? There we go. Thank you, Spirit. All right, so we have the Mother of Earth coming out for you. We have the Three of Air, which is in reverse. This is the Three of Swords. That is the Queen of Pentacles. And we also have, wow, another um, queen coming out. Mother of Fire is coming out. This is the Queen of Wands here. So... So pile number two, um, what I'm immediately picking up on this on this spread here, your person has a lot of doubt in their heart. They have a lot of heartbreak. Um, a lot of you, if you chose this, you guys are definitely in, well, actually, you know what I'm getting? Um, there might be two people involved here, like a third party situation, um, because we have the Three of Swords coming out here. What I'm actually getting for you guys is your person has doubt in their heart. They're very heartbroken, and I feel that they are torn between either you guys have a family together or you are this Queen of Fire here coming out. So you either, um, you might be an Earth sign or a Fire sign here. You don't have to be. But what I'm seeing here is that your person is very torn at this moment. Um, and I do see that this is a third party situation here. So I'm just going to go ahead and 
get some additional clarifiers for this um, pile here. Your person is confused and they're conflicted. I feel that they they just don't know what to do is what I'm getting. So let's clarify this three of air in reverse spirit. Clarify this three of air in reverse. Okay. Look at that. We have a daughter of fire. Okay. Another fire card. And yes, look at that. Three of earth. Okay. Growth. So this is definitely a third party situation. For some of you, you guys might have children with each other, like a family together. What I'm seeing here is that your person doesn't know how to move forward, okay? They don't know which way to go. Um, they have a lot of doubt and a lot of confusion. I'm just seeing a lot of confusion. And we have this smoke coming out of this daughter fire card. Um, you know, I just see that their mental clarity is very foggy at the moment. They're very clouded, like their judgment is skewed. And even though they feel this, you know, bond with you, I do sense that they, you know, it's like you ground them, you are home base. And, you know, there's just something really off with this person um, that you're asking about here. There's a lot of clouded judgment. So, Let's go ahead and see how else does your person feel about you. Okay, pile number two. How does their person feel about the person that was watching? Okay, look at that. We have trust coming out. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Exactly. Your person, you know, is really trying to figure out what to do. I feel like you, the person watching, might not really trust this connection at this moment. And you're, you're having doubts in your heart. And I do feel, and we have the doubt card, I do feel that your person is having a lot of trouble um, I'm even having trouble explaining them. That's I'm just feeling their energy. They're like stuck. I feel this energy of stuckness. I'm surprised the two of swords didn't come out here. So I actually want to pull, you know, for some of you, they might have broken your trust, okay? If this, you know, this was a third-party situation here, I'm seeing it very strongly, actually. This is a third-party situation that they broke your trust, and they know that. Okay, so they are deeply regretful with this Three of Swords coming out. So I'm going to use this Untold Truths of the Heart. These cards go pretty deep into someone's soul um, in their heart. So let's go ahead and get one card for how does pile number two's person, whoa, feel. Look at that before I could even finish. Second chance, pile number two. Making amends, opportunity, plans. Oh my gosh, that was a very strong message here. It just jumped right out. Your person, this is definitely, um, they know that they broke your heart. And how they're feeling about you is that they see you as their home. Okay, pile number two. They see you as their home. They know they broke your heart. They know they broke your trust. And they want to come back. They want a second chance. Um, but there's somebody in the way here, you know, this, either you are this mother of fire or, um, the other person is this mother of fire, take it how it resonates. But I do see that there are children involved in this situation and your person wants to, they want a second chance here. Um, they're just having a lot of trouble. Look at that. And we have emotional whirlwind at the bottom of the deck affected dramatic unstable yes so i don't i wasn't going to pull this card but that resonates really um well with this reading because i do see a lot of instability you know like a lot of fogginess like i see fog here i see fog in this card something's not right with this person so i just want to clarify here what is not right with this person so 
So what's blocking this connection at this current moment? Get one card, please, Spirit. What is blocking this connection? Yes, look at that. The two of earth. Exactly. You know, your person's unbalanced. And now we have the card about feeling unbalanced. Um, the two of earth change. Your person's having a lot of trouble um, trying to make up their mind. What's blocking this connection is that they're just not making a decision. They know and they feel in their heart that they want this second chance with you. But they also know that you don't trust them, okay, at this point. And that's stopping them from making a choice is what I'm seeing here. So let's go ahead and let's pull additional cards here. Let's get a Romance Angel Oracle card for your person. So how is Pound Number Two's person feeling about them? I do feel that they're thinking about you a lot, Pound Number Two. And you know what I'm actually getting is that your person, you know, if they jumped into a different connection, they did it because they were rebounding okay they didn't do it because they love this other person i feel that they did it just because of the convenience of it and that it was easy you know and it doesn't make it right you know and that's it, it's hurtful but that's that's what i'm seeing here yeah look at that you deserve love you are lovable pile number two your person wants you to know loud and clear that they know that they kind of missed the mark on this one they know that they tried to pull back that arrow and they missed completely. They know now that you are very lovable, that you deserve probably more than how they treated you in the past. And they're recognizing that they are, I'm just getting the word shameful. You know, they are shameful. Yes, that is the word that's coming to me from spirit. So let's go ahead and you know, I feel a heaviness when I do this, um, your pile. Let's go ahead and get one more card here. How does pile number two's person feel about the person watching? There we go. Thank you, spirit. Don't be misled. Okay. Yes. So Yeah, you know, I feel that if your person does end up, if they come back, and I, I feel like they're going to once they kind of clear their mind a little bit, there is an energy here just to be careful, pal number two, okay? So I am not entirely sure if this person is going to be 100% with you and honest. I feel that it might not be, I'm, I'm feeling that it might not be, the right time for you guys to come back together. Um, you know, if that's something that you want, you know, just be very mindful and be careful with that pound number two. So let's go ahead and just get, I just want to get um, messages from your person to you. What does pound number two's person want to say to the person that is watching? Okay, look at that. It says girl talk. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun, okay? So I think for a lot of you, they are watching you on social media and they might know that you're out there and you're just kind of living your life and um, it's almost like they're envious of that and they're just a little jealous that they're not with you, okay? So, and they also, what I'm getting here, the message is that they think that you've moved on. So whatever you're doing, you know, it's working if you're trying to, you know, really get this person to come back to you. If you are giving them the silent treatment, it's working. So pound number two, let's get one more message. Okay. Yep. Look at that. We have date coming out, meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan, set a date. So I actually feel like your person feels that you are dating other people because I feel that they think that you've moved on. Um, and that, I feel like it really bothers them, to be honest here. It really bothers them that they see you out living your life and they wanna be a part of it. They wanna come back into your life. So let's go ahead and end the reading with a goddess card. This is gonna be advice for the person watching here. What is your advice, Spirit, for the person watching? 
Oh my gosh. Wow. We have hell coming out and this is the rebirth goddess here that's coming out for you. Um, so, you know, with this, I'm getting two messages, um, you know, just to be really careful if this person comes back because they might have a false mask on, you know, be just because we have the skeleton um, on this woman's face. And what I'm also getting is that um, this connection has made you stronger. Okay, so this relationship, this experience has made you strong and it's made you strong as bones. Okay, so bones are made of calcium carbonate and it's like the hardest substance or one of the hardest substances in your body, like, you know, like teeth. Um, and is that right? Actually, I think I'm th thinking of teeth. Well, anyways, bones are really strong. <laughs> and, you know, this is just t talking about how you know, you've gained a lot of strength from this and to keep moving forward because, you know, no matter what happens between this connection, I feel that spirit wants you to know that you are coming out of this stronger than you were before. So that is your message, pal number two. I really hope it resonated. If it did, please let me know in the comments below. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you beautiful in us next time. Take care. Hi, pal number three, if you chose the green adventuring, this is going to be your reading. So I'm going to, um, I know I had mentioned I was going to put the timestamps below to skip the shuffling, but I ended up just shuffling cards throughout the whole reading. So I'm <laughs> sorry, but you're going to have to watch me shuffle. Um, let's go ahead. Let's see how does person, pal number three person feel about them. Three cards, please, spirit. How does their person feel about them? Um, that out. Two more cards, please. There we go. All right. So let's see what we have. Okay. Nine of Swords. Well, they're automatically feeling a lot of anxiety. They can't sleep without you. There's a lot of worry that I'm picking up. We also have the Eight of Wands. So, you know, this is a card about like messages, something happening quickly. And then we have the Four of Cups here, okay? All right, so I'm getting a really strong message already that your person feels like they missed an opportunity and they're in deep regret about this. I see it here and I see it here with the Nine of Swords coming out. Your person, um, they can't sleep at night. They're up thinking about you. They're thinking about, you know, I feel like they're saying to themselves, like, what the heck did I do? Like, how could I ever let this person go um, is what I'm seeing here. And they're replaying things over and over in their mind because they are so shameful. They're so regretful and so heartbroken and worried, you know, about what they've just done. I feel like this person feels like they've lost you forever. Um, but the beautiful thing is that we have the eight of wands here, and this is a card of movement. It's a card of someone wanting to reach out. Okay. It's a card of messages coming in. It's a card of move movement. Okay. And we have like the motorcycle there. So let's go ahead and get more cards and see, you know, how does this person feel about the person watching? So they are definitely missing you, call number three. And I am feeling a lot of anxiety. I could feel it in the pit of my stomach, to be honest. I'm getting kind of jittery from this energy. So call number three's person, how does this person feel? Ooh, there it goes, and it fell on the floor. Give me just a minute. Okay, beautiful. We have true love coming out for you. This is a romance of a lifetime. Exactly. Your person knows, okay, that they messed up and they messed up big time because this could have been the romance of a lifetime. And I feel that's what they're really worried about. And they're stressing about this, that they could even let you go and just, you know, I feel like your person they know your worth, they could see your worth, and they just couldn't, at the time, take that cup you were offering, so I actually want to clarify this four of cups, so why did this person not take that offer, clarify the four of cups, 
Look at that, you guys. What did I say? They are regretful. This is the card of regret. This is the five of cups, sorrow, pain. Um, you know, we have the four to the five of the five of cups. So what I feel like is that your person, for some of you, your person might have gotten out of another relationship and they were still kind of healing or mourning from that type of connection is what I'm getting. And it blocked them from really opening up to somebody else. And, you know, they're in regret about it because now they see your, your true worth and they couldn't see it before because there was this fog over them, this cloud over them that was really skewing their judgment. So let's go ahead. I, you know, pile number three, I don't feel like this person is a bad person. I feel like this person, it was the thing about timing where you kind of caught them at the wrong time. Um, if they did get out of a connection recently and, you know, they were still kind of hurting you know, the three of cups that are spilt over, I feel like your person was still kind of hurting um, from a different connection here. So I'm not getting that, you know, this is a sneaky person at all. I just feel that the timing was off. Okay, we have success coming out. It says, I know that there's no greater goal than to love. Yes, I feel that your person is really wanting to come back. And I, I definitely feel we have two cards that say love. Um, I definitely feel that they're really starting to open up to you about this connection. They want it to be successful. You know, they want to come forward and have something really happen between the two of you here. So let's go ahead and get another card. How does pal number three's person feel about them? Okay. We have, what would love do? Again, another card with the word love in it. And if you look at, um, you know, these cards, they don't all, well, you can't see it. They don't all have the word love is what I'm saying. And there's like 78 of them. And now you have three cards of love. So this person is wondering, you know, what would love do? Would it run away, run away? Or would it go and charge forth and take what they, they want? You know, would it go for, not take what they want, <laughs> You know, it's talking about like this person is trying to figure out like, if I love this person, what should I do about it? Why did I run away? I feel like your person is just asking a lot of questions in their mind, which is why we have that nine of swords. Like that's not a good energy to be in. That's a very tough, conflicted, sad, anxious type of energy. And I'm feeling it really strongly from your person here. So I want to get... These are the Untold Truths of the Heart, Tarot or Oracle Cards by Aqua Moonlight. Um, they are pretty deep and they really go and they pinpoint exactly how your person feels about you deep within their heart. So let's go ahead and just pull a card for your person, pal number two. How does pal, pal number three, how does pal number three's person feel about them? Look at that. Consequences. Karma, destiny, cause and effect. All right, pile number three. What I'm getting here immediately is your person knows that because they turned away from you, they're starting to actually not starting. They're really feeling this effect of it. And, you know, they're, they're wanting, you know, this second chance with you. They want another chance. They want this Ferris wheel to turn. They don't want to keep you. Um, they don't want to be away from you. You know, they don't want you guys to be apart is what I'm seeing here. So let's go ahead and get some messages from your person to you. Pile number three's person. What would they say to the person watching? Look at that girl with a snake. Empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used, enabled boundaries. Okay. I'm getting two messages here. Um, they're afraid that you might kind of put up their your boundaries with them if they do come back. And, you know, if your person got out of another relationship previously, before, like right before they met you, I feel like what they want to tell you is that they were used before. They were being charmed and they were afraid okay that 
it was going to happen again with you. And, you know, going back to them, when I was saying, I don't think that they're a bad person, pal number three. I think they have really good intentions. And I think they were just really hurt at the time when you met them. They were already damaged, you know. They were already very broken at the moment. So they want you to know that. And it wasn't you at all. At all, pal number three. Pal number three, let's get one more message. What would this person say to the person that is watching? There we go. Wow, look at that. Engagement ring. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, complete union. Okay, your person wants to come back. And I see that they want something that's going to be stable with you. They don't see you as someone that is just a fling. They see you more than that. They see you part of their destiny here, okay? We had the card that says destiny. I think they're done kind of feeling this um, regretfulness, this sadness, and they want something to start moving forward between the two of you. So let's go ahead and pull a goddess card here for advice for the person watching. So pound number three, what goddess would like to come out for pound number three? What is your advice for them? Whoever is watching. Okay, that's too many. These cards are really long and they're a little hard to shuffle for me. I have small hands. <laughs> Here we go. All right, we have the goddess Isis coming out. Beautiful. It says strength. Wow. Pile number three. So be strong, you know. Um, if this person does come back, you know, I, I just really want you to know that I don't think that this person has bad intentions. I think it was all about the timing that you guys met. Um, but be strong in this situation because whatever you're doing, it's working. And I feel like this is like calling this person back in because of how strong you are. So pile number three, that was your reading. I really hope it resonated. If it did, please let me know in the comments below. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if anyone is interested in a personal reading, all the details will be below in the description box. I'll see you beautiful Linus next time. Take care.